good day guys depending on where you are in the world uh whether it's morning whether it's afternoon whether it's evening i want to say all uh, day um welcome to the traders are bold markets uh weekly market uh, analysis where we look at all the market adilola shukoya is my name if you are new to the channel so every week we look at uh, the market holistically we look at uh we take a look at the market you know and um analyze the market i try to you know uh look at the likely scenario of what the market can do like some more always say that you don't predict the market just uh, follow the trend right so we try to see okay uh the trend and that we ended with last week and uh the likely trend you know markets probably 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 we have a uh, continuation of that trend or reverse of that trend so that's what we do here like every so i, I like to do this every week and also, I also like because uh, most times when I do this, I have gotten some you know, quite number of uh, feedback. People, you know, uh, send messages. You know, uh, it helps them to also um, look at what the market is going to do uh, together for the week, right? So basically, um, let's move on. So we'll be looking at DXY like I always like to do. Uh, the DXY, the dollar index, you know, dollar uh, US dollar index. And like I like I like to say every time on this channel that the reason we always do that is so is because we know the dollar is, is uh, right now is the most powerful currency in the world, and then it's uh, when it comes to when when it comes to uh, forex and currencies, uh, practically you know uh, every currency of every country look at the dollar. And if if anything happens to the dollar, you see the after effect on major currencies of the world, like euro, like pounds. So I haven't said that. So we saw what the dollar do, uh, did last week. As you can see on my screen, this is the uh, US dollar index. So we can see that um, uh, uh, we had a pullback, you know, from, from this part on around Monday. And um, I'm actually on the monthly, on, on the daily time frame. So we actually had a, uh, an upshoot from this bottom at the beginning of the week. And then we have um for Monday, I think we had uh, this 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 is actually on Friday. Oh, yes, this is Friday. So this is one, this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. Okay, for Monday. So we actually had a pullback from this um from this resistance. You know, uh, if you if you watch my uh, weekly analysis last week, remember I said if that if we do that parameter B, we fail to break this resistance. We are going to have a pullback, you know, to this support. Um, the previous uh, week on Thursday, um, price actually uh, shoot off from here. We had a uh, uh, uh we actually had price, you know, shoot off from this support. I move all the way to this um, uh, and we close that week on um on Friday with this uh, bullish candlestick, and then now on Monday we had a pullback, and then um dollar kept you know coming down. And because we had some series of uh, news that came out, you know, fundamental news that came out last week, and they were not so favorable to, to you know to the, to the US dollar. So we had the dollar, you know, kept coming back, kept, kept coming down until it finally bottomed at this uh, support around one or two, you know, and as as it is now on Friday, uh, it bottomed here, and then we had a, another or push up from here. So now we you can see that for for the most times, you know, we've been um. We've been ranging at least for like a week plus now. Um, we've been having a range, you know, price bouncing of bouncing off and going back up and down, you know, around this uh, zone, you know, around this uh, around this region. Um, and that's to tell you that um, I just the market is all ranging. So going forward, you know, what I feel the dollar is likely to do, um, uh, majorly, majorly, um, we, we can't say until on Friday, you know. <laughs> Um, if you know what Friday is, that's the first Friday of every month. We have the NFV, then that's a non farm payroll where um, may, um, any um, the fundamental news, when that fundamental list is, re is released, we'll be then we'll be able to see you know what the dollar is you know trying to do for the year. Okay, sorry for the month, for the month of uh, this new month of April. So basically, I'll be paying attention to, to the DXY as long as this support holds. You know, uh, that means that means we have price keep moving to the uptrend, except we have the support where the support is broken. And why did I say that? Because you know, uh, um, um, most traders, you know, 
especially those in our community, in the traders of both community, trades the major currency like Euro, Euro USD, like pounds USD. So and and then you know that when the dollar is strong, um, that means uh, that means the euro will be weak. That means you'll be having um uh, the euro USD be selling. And when um uh, when the when the dollar is weak, that means um other currencies, you know, other major currencies like Euro US, like pounds US will be very strong. So having said that, let's go and check what is happening on the on the um on the road USD and other pairs, all right. So let's quickly let me see. Let's see. Let's look at it together. All right. So come with me, okay? Right. So um I'm on the chart of Euro USD right now. And, and, and quickly before I before I move on, on the uh to Euro USD, I quickly want to say if you have not um joined our community, the telegram group, we have a free telegram group. I'll be dropping the the link in the description below. Just ensure you when you subscribe, uh, you join the link. Uh, you join our Telegram. Telegram is free, and also ensure you subscribe to my channel, to the traders this channel, so that anytime you know I release a new video like this, mm, you'll be notified. All right. And then during the week, what we do in the Telegram group is that we drop free signals. You know, and our signals has been last week was explosive. Also, we also have a course out. Our forest course is out. The description in the, the, the I'll drop the link in the description below rather. So so um let's move on to Euro USD. So Euro USD you know had a push up because dollar was weak last week, and then uh we ended the week with we ended the week with um you know with this um with a pullback from this resistance. There's a minor resistance there that that Euro USD was dealing with. And then we ended our week right so okay so we ended our week you know which you know is pulling back from here so i'll be paying attention to because the market has because you know has been bullish has been super bullish you know for the past couple of you know weeks if we go back to the weekly chart you can see what uh, you is doing you and you will notice that um that will be super bullish I mean, we ended the week. If you look at this, um, that candlesticks like this one, this one right here. Let me expand this a little bit. So we ended, we ended this week as a, you know, um, as a bullish one. So I'll be looking for a pullback to see, you know, where the market is going to bottom on Monday before I put, you know, before I buy. All right. Okay, but but for the meantime, because the market is super bullish for which which uh, Euro USD. I'll be staying on this on the on the I'll be staying away from from selling. Now the idea is you want to stay away from from taking a sell. <laughs> Sometimes you want to say let me quickly take a sell as a trader and then and then you take that sell and then you enter into trouble, right? So, but you know it's better for you to just stay on the sideline, especially when you know the market is super bullish the way it is right now. So, like last week, um, I took some buy around there where you saw this um this uh, pink this my minor uh, support. I waited for price to pull back in here and I took a buy and I and I rolled this um this um um uh, this move all the way up up until this one before I came out, you know. And so and um that's why it's important to to identify the major uh, the major trend or the or or let me say uh if the market is pulling back as it has been pulling back in some some couple of weeks, you know, like last year we had uh it was a drop all the way um till november before we had you know let's let's check in on the monthly time frame so i can i show you what i'm trying to explain okay so we had you know on this part give me a minute, let me let me let me identify right here so we bought me last day i think this happened around the um, i think this happened around the yeah i think this i think it was around october Pardon me, I, I said November the other day. It was around October. So we bought them right and they were moving up ever since. So um this but this move is actually is actually like a a, a, a retracement of the major move because we've been we were falling. The price has been falling as you can see. Give me a minute, let me let me let me remove this. So price has been actually as I said, we actually actually been on the downtrend, right? If you look at my being on the downtrend all the way, right? 
And then now, so what we have here right now is a um is actually a retracement of this move. So price is actually trying to move up the way. Um, I haven't fallen all the way from the um, beginning of, I mean, we've been, been coming down. <laughs> we've been coming down a lot. So, um, but because we have, we have, we have already broken this zone. If you have been following my analysis over time, you understand I'm, I always surprise me from zone to zone. So because we've been following, because we've broken this zone, right? Our price is, has broken this zone. So uh, I'll be looking out to take a buy. I'll be paying attention to taking buy, you know, buy trades. Um, I explained all this in our in our new course, in the traders above mass mass forex mastery course. You know, how you can you know identify major you know zones like this, major support and resistance zones, how you can draw your trend line, how you can um how you can use top down analysis, how you can um use a Fibonacci retracement and and all not. Just click on the link you know in the description below. So um so let's move on. So like I said, I'll be in attention to to taking a buy. Nero USD, you know, so I'll be waiting for a pullback, and that's why I've already, you know, um, what I what I've done is to is to um identify my minor and my major support. So I have a minor support here where I took a buy last week, and I need to explain this. I don't always take my buy on the, I don't always take my trade on the higher time frame. I'm actually right now in the daily time frame. I just do my analysis on this higher time frame, then I come down to the four hour. And sometimes on the one hour, I take my trade on that one hour sometimes. But majorly, I, you know, I take my trade on the four hour trade. But sometimes, but I'm not very sure, I go to the one hour time frame to see if I'll see a very good entry point. Because on the higher time frame, you might not be able to see a very good entry point most times. So, and that's why um, I always come down to the four hour to or the one hour times. I really do that, but I do that sometimes to go and check if price will come, um, if I'll see a very good entry point. So most times when I come to the uh, lower time frame, what I'm looking for is actually uh, an entry point because I, I must have determined, like I just did, I must have determined the um the major trend on the higher time frame. All right, then you come down the lower time frame to check to check for you know a very good entry point. So I would say that let's check um let's look at uh, let's look at what pounds pounds shares they would I will look at what pounds probably I will, I will just send with currencies today because I think I'm really taking some. Um, some quite a number of times. So quickly, so we are up these on pounds. Uh, we are on pounds right now on um, on the higher time frame. The pounds pounds has actually be <laughs> doing a lot of range, just like it USD also. So we had we bottom here, and then we we'll move up, and then um we had the resistance around there. You know, so um like I said, I'll be looking for a pullback. A pullback. Uh, pounds on his own. Pardon me, let me check on the weekly time frame to understand what the pounds has been doing. All right. So pounds are actually been a lot of uh, a lot of ranging, you know. Been doing a lot of ranging and uh but then it's also been it's also been bullish anyway against the USD. But then it's it, it has not it, it has not been moving as much as you expect it to move up anyway. So I'll also be looking for opportunity to, you know, I'll look for pounds to pull back and, and establish that, you know, there's a support, you know, that support has, is holding like, 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 like how you have right here, you, know, you have pounds, you know, push up and then, you you know, there's a, um, this actually looks like British engulfing candlestick before you have another one, you know, so you know, how, of course, this is about to go up. All right. So, um, I would say that let's look at, um, let's look at, um, we're gonna look at um AUDS. AUDS on the zone has been <laughs> um that pair has, has actually you know been very 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 it's just been ranging and that's why I've been I've been on the sideline on AUDS and I'm waiting for it to break this support. We've been battling this support for so long, as you can see. I've already put it there that you know I'm gonna take a sell. So if you break the support. I'm going to be waiting for you know AUD as you to break this support if I take a sell on this higher time frame on the four on the daily time frame as soon as I see a break of this support and a retest of the support. Normally, like I always explain, um, I wait for you know, I don't trade breakout because breakout can be very, very <laughs> you know, um if you if you under if you if you've been trading for us for a while, you understand what I'm saying. You know, when you have a breakout, let me explain what I'm trying to. Sometimes you have a breakout. Let's say you have a breakout of this support. 
and then you take a cell and the market goes back in and it's your resist and it's your uh it's your stop loss and then it comes back and continue the trend all the way down so to prevent that what i normally do is you know i wait for a clear break of the support and it, and then um let me I'm going to use uh, this thing to explain it. So I wait for a clear break of the support, okay? And then I'll look for a, a retest. Most times you have a retest because, you know, according to, um, you, you understand that once the support is broken, the support becomes what becomes a resistance. So price comes here and test this resistance to see if it can break it. And then that trend, if it's not broken, then it continues. Then at that spot, I want to take it to itself. You have something that looks like this. Give me a minute, let me do that again. The support is broken. Yeah, that support becomes a resistance and the price comes in and test it. Sometimes it doesn't get here before you have a pullback, test it, and then continue the trend all the way down, you know. So you want to wait for the test of the support to see if it's going to break up or it's going to you know, turn before you start, you know, taking yourself. So, and then I do that on the, you know, I do that actually on the, on the lower time frame, as soon as I see that the price has broken the support, I'll wait. I'll go to the probably to the four hour time frame to check. You know, um, you have to understand that in this game, it's about, it's about patience. You have to be patient. If you're not patient, you can't trade forex. <laughs> I mean, this is the only this is the only uh majorly all markets forex stocks, um, crypto. You know, just mention it. Patience is the, you know is the name of the game. You have to be able to wait. Because I like I always tell you know a lot of my students, if you are not patient, you'll be giving your money back to the market. So you want to be patient. All right. So um, so that's it for this week. So, like I said, um, I'll be dropping a link for the Telegram group in the description below. Join us. And if you have not, you know, pick up our course, it's just $99. You know, click in the link below. It doesn't even matter um if you're already trading. If you are trading and you are not profitable, um, trust me, that course is going to help you. I mean, we have a lot of uh, testimonies, you know, in the, in the in the Telegram group last week, one or two, and then I think somebody sent in a video also to say thank you. You know, I mean, the course will take you from being a losing trader to being a profitable trader. It's going to take you through the re, you know, through the uh, technicalities of how to how to enter a trade, how to exit a trade, how to identify your major zones, how to identify your you know my your minor zones. You know, and everything you need to know. And then every other time that we um we um we do webinars, I always update that the course. You know, I update it and we'll put you know, so and then you pay that money once. So it's a lifetime access you're having. So uh, I don't think you can get that anyway. And then for now, we are still giving our signals for free. So we drop signals every week. No my not only me, you know, I have some other members, you know, on the group that also drop their signals, you know. So you can join the Telegram group for free signals and also for updated information about uh, our programs on traders.com. So thank you. Um, I'll see you during the week.